Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. Now before I get into the featured bot of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Big Lick Comic Con. Dylan and I went to Roanoke, Virginia over the weekend to check him out, and oh my gosh, did we have a good time, and it was so cool to see the excitement through Dylan's eyes as we entered that convention center with all the displays and vendors and super cool cosplay costumes. I mean, Dylan just took off. You wanna see an impersonation of me with Dylan at Comic-Con? It was this, I was like, what is he? I mean, he was everywhere and that boy came home with some swag. He had two swag bags loaded. He had been saving up since November, plus Mama hooked him up with some funds. So he's got a lot of stuff that he's gonna go over on his channel. I, for one, really didn't see anything that popped out at me. So all my money pretty much went to Dylan as well, but I didn't leave empty-handed because I ran into comic book artist Michael Watkins, and I found out he's been a huge fan of mine and a subscriber since the beginning. So I was absolutely honored to meet him for the fact, you know, comic book artist, and he was a subscriber. It was so cool. And he even had a print ready for me that he autographed so I could bring home. So Michael, your art will now be featured in every Patriot Prime Reviews video because it is framed and hanging up right there above my Generation 1 combiner. So Michael, thank you so much. Now I posted a video of Dylan and I's Big Lick Comic Con Adventures. And if you didn't see that, just click the link above. Now, on to the figure. So my brother, who lives in Ohio, always hits the flea markets, the pawn shops, the clearance bins, looking for toys and goodies, both for his collection, he's a big G.I. Joe collector, and he's always looking out for me. So he sent me some goodies home via my parents who were visiting him over the weekend. So uh, Michael found me, my brother Michael, found me a rat trap on clearance. I never saw rat trap here. We got Cheetor, Prime, Megatron, never rat trap. So he found one in the clearance bin that he sent me. Also sent me a G1 Wild Rider and what I thought was a generation two cliff jumper. I mean, he looks just like cliff jumper and you know he's generation two because of that nice shiny vacuum metal look. And I went to transform him and I was like, no, that is not Cliff Jumper's face. So I did some research and found out this is a G2 hubcap. I had no idea that hubcap was in generation two. I mean, I knew of Prime and Starscream and Ramjet, Bumblebee, the Dynamots, Constructicons. Did not know hubcap was part of that line. So I did some research and he was released in 1993 along with Bumblebee and I think they colored him red so he would, you know, be a good contrast with Bumblebee, but they didn't use the cliff jumper mold because they didn't have it or something, so they used hubcap and colored him red. So I thought that was just fascinating because that's something I never knew. So I figured I'm going to show him off to you guys because, hell, you may not know about G2 hubcap either. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at this awesome 1990s Generation 2 figure. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews.
We'll start things off by looking at Hubcap in his vehicle mode, which is a Penny Racer style Porsche 924 Turbo. And I can only imagine how good looking this car was back in the day. I love that shiny red chrome look he has, but unfortunately mine is showing his age. He's faded in spots. There are chips, but still he's not too bad looking. I mean, the tires, which are rubber, are in perfect shape. And those are usually the things that go first. Now, as I said earlier, I thought this was cliff jumper, but the big difference between the hubcap mold and cliff jumper here is the lack of spoiler in vehicle mode. I should have noticed that first off, but I'm really not that familiar with hubcap. Alas, I don't have a hubcap in my generation one collection. So taking a closer look at the figure, he's got the black windows here, the wheels, the rims. I mean, I'm really surprised how good those look or in how good a shape they are. I mean, look at cliff jumpers here. Eh, that side's not too bad, but they're a little dry. I actually saw on Facebook where some collectors put armor all on their rubber tires. I think we'll try that out. Lots of nice details on the front. You can see the lights there, all kinds of chips. Man, I wish there was a way to restore this guy. I love the looks of these. I don't have any G2 mini bots, and I know they were all this glorious chrome. But man, he looks so sharp and rolls really, really good. And I just noticed when I flipped over, he's got that telltale G2 insignia right there. They always had some kind of marking that said either Autobot, Decepticon, or they even had their name. And he's not really bad chipped on the bottom. A lot of the mini vehicles, well, neither is my cliff jumper. So yeah, mine are actually in fairly decent shape. Let's see, I brought Bumblebee out. Yeah, none of these are rough looking. I've seen a lot of these where the paint really scratches off this little section right here. So all in all, nice vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and get him transformed. Super simple. You're going to flip the back panel out, revealing his head. Then you're going to bring these sections out, which are the arms. There we go. We're going to pull the front out. Now, sometimes you want to be careful doing this. If you grab by the toes, you can pull the feet right off. So you lock those legs in place, bend the feet up, and there we have hubcap in robot mode. Once again, looks really good. I love these vintage figures, and he's got a great head sculpt. I do, that's one issue I always had with G1, G2. I hate when the whole face is painted one collar. So let's bring in Cliff Jumper here, get him transformed real quick. So we can compare the two. And as you can see, Cliff Jumper has the spoiler, Hubcap does not, and they've got the different head sculpts. Other than that, these molds are exactly the same. Now, articulation. He's a G1. The arms can do a complete 360. The toes can move up and down. And I guess his head can look up and down as well. And that's it. Now, I am thrilled to have this guy in my collection because, like I said earlier, I don't have a G1 hubcap. I was hunting one down when the Generation Selects hubcap came out. But I don't know why I never got one. I got sidetracked with other new figures. So I still may have to hunt one down now that I have this G2 version. But I really like this figure, and I'm so thankful my brother found him for me. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1993's Generation 2 hubcap with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Cliff Jumper, and Generation Selects hubcap. 1993's Generation 2 hubcap is a surprising reuse of the Generation 1 mold. This one took me completely out of left field. As I said, I had no idea hubcap was in G2. I love the looks of this guy, especially with that red chrome. I'm going to have to do some Googling to find out if there's any way I can restore this guy to his former glory because I can only imagine how good he looked back in the days fresh out of the packaging. So there you go, guys, 1993's Generation 2 Hubcap. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members 
because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!